Hello and welcome. Uh, welcome. This is a session on Google Collaboration. And um, I hope that uh, you're a Google user. All right, so today is really special because it's not anything that you've ever done because we're doing something completely different and that is we have added uh, something new to Google Drive. Google Drive is no longer just what it used to be and let me just get started by uh, first of all introducing myself. This is Nellie Deutsch and I've been uh, using technology since um, I guess the mid 90s in blended learning platform with my students, both in high school and higher education. And I have a doctorate in uh, educational leadership, specializing in curriculum and technology, as well as instruction. And I'm passionate, really passionate, excited when it comes to technology because our life is so much easier. It's not only the gadgets that we use, but it's our ability to connect and learn together, which is so exciting. So let's get started with Google Drive for collaboration. In the month of June, we're going to be working on Google Drive and different things that we can do with Google Drive. I've been using Google Drive for a number of years, both with my students, colleagues, and uh, the list goes on in the kind of collaboration, whether it's book chapters, online uh, articles or articles in general to be published, uh, conferences online and face any kind of planning actually, including family events, getting together, working on uh, specific articles, uh, essays, as well as PowerPoint presentations, which reminds me that I have to get one done for the Finland uh, Ed Media Conference. It's coming up in about two weeks, three weeks actually. So there are a lot of uh, things that you can do with Google Drive. Most of us have a Google, a Gmail account, but you can also have an organizational account through Google Apps. So if you could just add in the chat box where you're from. I see people are coming in where you're from and um, let me get the chat back up where you're from and uh, anything else, feel free to use the chat box to communicate, ask questions, and think out loud. Because you can do that. You can chat in an online uh, classroom such as this one, and nobody will say anything, and you won't be disturbing. On the contrary, you'll be contributing to our collective learning. And that's what it's all about. So we've got Switzerland, Texas, Cyprus. Hello. Um, let's see, Peru, Lima. And um, any other countries? And we've got Italy. <laughs> Hello. You can't get enough of me, eh? All right. So I, I didn't expect anyone to come in since we've had uh, two live sessions today. One with Understanding was IQ as a teaching system and the other one the opening of the Moodle MOOC. All right so today's different really different from anything that I've done before I promise. Okay so you're in for a surprise. First of all I want to share the link with you. There's the let me get that larger it's a bit small. So uh, let me get a color green. All right there it is. Okay so that's the link to the PowerPoint presentation. I've added it to the learn to blend and flip with technology class that I want to also add uh, to the session so that those of you who have not joined can join and those of you who have can go back to get the information on the content and the courseware and the recordings which is the same link as the live class and anything else that is available in the course. Okay so there's the course learn to blend and flip with technology. All right, so yes, on the feed, the course feed for discussions and the course where for the content. All right, so this is what a Google, by the way, how many of you have a uh, Gmail account or at least use uh, Google Drive 
with your uh, schools or uh, organization. Okay, great. If not, you'll need to get a Gmail account. You've experimented. That's great. But actually using it, you know, and you can uh, use it with your colleagues. I couldn't live without Google Drive. Okay, I need especially for the PowerPoint presentations. All right, so let's get started with Google Drive for collaborations. As I was uh, trying to say before, uh, the month of June will be Google Drive, just like the month of May was uh, Wikis for collaboration. Now it's uh, my favorite wiki. Actually, uh, Google Drive is a kind of wiki because we work together. The difference is that you can all work at the same time, unlike the other wikis. All right, so uh, what you see here in the center, all these boxes. Okay, any idea what they are? They're not really boxes. Actually, they are. Uh, anyone? What would you call them? And let me get a nice color here. Okay, what well, would you? There we go. There's a real box. They're folders. Exactly. They're folders. Okay, they're folders and you can organize and you should organize because otherwise it's going to be really difficult. Organize all your documents in folders. Okay, and the documents can be various kinds. They could be any kind, PowerPoint, and we'll see in a minute the kind of documents that you can now have on Google Drive. And by the way, Google Drive and Google in general is really developing a lot of amazing, amazing apps. How many of you have an Android? I, um, I have an iPad, but I uh, got rid of my iPhone and I moved to an Android. My son is really angry at me, but I do have an Android. So Google plays a big part. Google Play and uh, in the Android. Okay, I have a Samsung, but it doesn't really matter. And um, it connects everything. And, and, and that's what's so exciting about technology, that whatever I add to my Android goes into my iPad and it goes into my computer and it's all connected. Okay, and how they do it, I have no idea, but I love the fact that I can listen now listen to uh, audio books and lectures while I'm watching proctoring over exams at school or doing traveling or in my car. I just listen. You know, I listen to wonderful audio books and it's all possible on the Android and the iPad and it's just really exciting. Okay, so let's take a look at, we've got the folder. Okay, and um, and what I wanted to say was Google is making it happen. A folder, and then notice here, the traditional, okay, what we're familiar with um, is still here, but there's so many new things added. So there is the document, the presentation, the spreadsheet, and the form. Okay, that's the old Google Drive. Now they've added drawings. This is fairly new. Okay, and you should really check it out because they keep coming up with new stuff all the time. They don't let you know, they just add stuff. And then there's concept board, fusion table, HTML, and you can even learn for free how to develop HTML and other languages. Now notice this is completely new. Okay, notice what's here and we're going to be talking about it, mind map. Yes, uh, the mind map, the Meister mind map. There's Move Note that you're probably familiar with because I talk about it all the time. There was PDF Mergy. There's Pick to For Me project, Powtoon. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Real time board, and there's so much more strict script. Okay, video notes, Yokel Chat. <laughs> and Zoho Writer, okay? And there's a lot more if you go in to connect more apps. I only use the educational apps because I don't like the other things, but if you like games and your students like games, you might want to do that. Very good. 
Yeah, or now today we're going to be talking about Mind Master. Now, have you heard of Mind Master? Just give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you have heard of it. I used to have a free account and then it cost money and you need to bring, people needed to bring you, but now it's all free because Google, now it's a Google Apps, okay? And how many of you have done mind maps? Mind maps are really, really a great way to engage students and ourselves for learning. So you must have heard of mind maps, right? So MindMaster is one of the successful ones. You can't do it. Well, you're going to learn to do them today. Yes. Um, this is the day, Allison, of mind maps. Some people do not like mind maps. But I think that it's worthwhile trying to uh, see why you don't like them and how you can learn to like them. Maybe can get on with them. <laughs> well, tell you a secret? Neither can I. Okay, <laughs> which is why I never got into it. But it's a lot of fun. So all you need to do is connect your apps with your Google, except, okay. And then you get into a mind map. And this is what it looks like. By the way, Moodle also has a mind map. It's not as sophisticated as this one. All right. And then you share the settings. Okay. Now you can share the settings. You can make it private. Let's get another color here. You can make it shared, which is like sharing the link with people or you can make it public, okay? It's up to you how you do it. You can invite people if you make it private. If you make it public, you just share the link and then you click on done. So far, so good? Let me know if you have a question in the chat. All right, so spreadsheets, yes. Um, and then we publish the map. Now, I've made it public, of course. You click on OK. OK, let's continue. And then there's our map. OK, there's the link to our map. OK, and um, let me add the map so we can start mapping away. OK, and then you can learn how to create your map. So there's the link to the map. I've added it in the chat box. OK, there it is. Now, if you've never done this before, this is your chance to have fun because it's really colorful and we can do anything. What I want you to do is I want you to compare the mind map with the other wikis that you're familiar with and the ones that you tried out in May and see how it feels. Uh, yes, but this is a public. Okay, Melissa, this is, I made it public for now so that we can play around with it and we don't have to waste time or spend time. Oh, I see we've got some anonymous people. Okay, this way you can stay anonymous and play around and notice the different colors. Now we have to get organized and decide what we're doing. Also notice that you can print this, download it, do anything you want with it. So first of all, we have to decide on a topic. So I'm going to get a whiteboard here and give everybody rights since there aren't that many people. So I'm going to give you rights. Okay, I'll uh, give you writing tools. Let me make sure. Okay, so everybody has a writing tool. We're going to first of all use the whiteboard as a wiki. The WizIQ whiteboard. By the way, every whiteboard is actually wiki. Okay, that's a secret. Uh, it works differently, but you can do anything on it. All right. So first of all, you have to know that on the right, oh, somebody moved it. Okay, but I think what I'm going to do is, um, since someone's always going to move things, is I'm going to delete air. Okay, I've just deleted the PowerPoint presentation. I can always bring it back so that we can focus on the whiteboard, okay? 
So you can add, you can take a look at the left at the writing tools and you'll notice that Hello from Italy. You'll notice that there's also an A. Okay, the A, and let me get the A for you so you don't have to write freehand. There is, if you hover your mouse on the left, you'll see A, and then you can click on the text. If you click on that, you'll be able to write, and you can also change the size. Notice that size and color are at the bottom left. Okay, so uh, there we are. There, Nives is pointing to it. Thank you. Can you go up also higher, Nevis? Sorry, Nevis to the A. Very good. Wow, you're doing really great. I'm going to have to take your classes very soon. Okay, there we are. Okay, there. And what you need to do is you can change the color, the font. Let's get an orange here and the size. And you can start writing. Okay, so what topic do you suggest? What topic do you suggest that we focus on in our mind map? Any thoughts? Oops. What should we uh, focus on? Let me take away my uh, web. Anybody want to speak? I can give you um, speaking rights and anyone for getting speaking no no connection we'll just watch okay anyone for um the webcam or just the audio so what we're focusing on let's try to focus is what topic okay so we've got cyprus we've got mexico so esl grammar that's a topic Okay, so one suggestion is uh, ESL, grammar. I love talking about grammar. It's so much fun. Not that it does anything, but it's nice. It's nice to know grammar. Mindmaster wants me to register. I don't think you need to register, Allison. You simply go to um, your Gmail account. Uh, you did? Oh, it's connected. Okay, so Nevis, let me uh, get you here so we can hear somebody else's voice besides mine. There we are. Okay, so we've got Nevis. Hello. Hello. Hi, can hear me. Yes, we can. Oh, we hear you really well. I don't know why you need that. I don't think you need your headset because you sound fine. That's okay. I don't know if you need it. Because you sound great. Okay. Great. Yeah, you were fine without it. Uh, so topics, if you could add. Yeah, topics. There. Oh, Fatima. Hello. Okay, just talking about mind maps. Uh, I used it last year with uh, my engineering students when we were doing a project through the different groups and it was really good because we we created this huge mind map and everyone just kept adding to it so it was really like a huge brainstorming session. Um, no, I am Australian but I'm not in Australia, I'm in Italy. But yes, I'm an Aussie. Can you say, can you repeat what you said in Italian? I'd love to hear your Italian. Io italiano è sempre forzato un pochettino con un accento australiano. Comunque provo di parlare abbastanza bene. Is that okay? Love, I just love Italian. Bella, bellissimo. I don't know. I don't know if it's Spanish or <laughs> bella, bella. Very nice. Yeah, we could talk about the weather. So what do you suggest? Um, you know, we got to think of a topic and then just go there to the mind map and start. Uh, but what I want you to notice also that the whiteboard, we can all write at the same time, which makes the whiteboard a very, very useful tool in the classroom. 
I totally agree about the wood. It's a fantastic opportunity. When um, when I do my classes with my one on one or two on two, whatever, I um, get them to to join me on the whiteboard, and it's really good fun. I find that especially the younger students really love using the whiteboard, um, and uh, and and also since we last spoke last year, sometime. With IQ did add a highlighting uh, facility with uh, like PDF files. So when I have a PDF file up on uh, the board, I can actually ask questions like find uh, I don't know the verbs or something in the in the paragraph, and they use the highlight pen or the underline. It's really 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 cool. I think you could you could do it on a PowerPoint too. I don't think it has to be here as a PDF. You can do it on any document, but this this isn't new. Hello. They've had this for for some time. But yeah, you I can add anything if, if you want to try it out. I need to get uh, it. Yeah, there's a PDF, but I think you can I mean, do it. That's uh, a for uh, the session in two days with Zaid. Um, yeah, you can add anything to it. There's a box and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna get rid of it because Here it's I making am. us dizzy. Let's get back All to the right. whiteboard. All right, so what topic? Should we huh. vote on a topic? So we've got uh, we've grammar, got weather, combination of grammar and the weather, weather around the world. Well, um, just talk. Um, how is grammar? Okay, just talking about mind maps. Yeah. Uh, I used All it right, last so let's. Year um, with, uh, anybody else want to speak? Should I? Anyone we else want the webcam or the different uh, groups? And it audio, was really good because we mic. we created this huge mind map, and everyone People just kept really adding oh, to it. So it was really good like a see you. huge brainstorming session. Anyone um, for the mic? No, I am Australian, but I'm not in Australia. Come on, come I'm in Italy. Board. Well, what do I give everybody? No, that'll yes, make a lot of noise. I would just give them, you know, but some and, people, um, I once caught somebody uh, that wasn't ready to speak. Oh, there, sure. Let me give you, uh, there we are. I gave you writing tools. Are you also, you're not able to give Is that give okay? Like, okay, let's see. Um, it's fun. Yes, it is. Oh, it's a no, lot of it's fun. And somebody just trends getting. Oh, that's a good one. What do you oh, suggest? Oh, you. that's a nice box there. Okay, you're playing around with a tool, which is great. But that's what you're supposed to do anyways um, for the uh, the task. Okay, last, uh, last week's task was to create. Did you do that? Who, who brought that in? From... Did you do that? I guess anybody can do that. Yeah, anybody can do that, which is interesting. I totally agree about that. All right, so are you ready to go into the um, when, um, when screen share? When I do my share. classes with I'll, my uh, one-on-one one one or two-on-two, two, whatever, with your I camera, um, just your get audio, them to, to join me on the whiteboard. And I'm going and really to screen fun. share. Let me get rid of mine. Especially the youngest students um, really love using the Can you the do that? Can you get rid of your um, and, uh, just... Um, uh, and... and also, since That's we last all right, just your voice. Sometime, yeah, your voice is fine. With so let's, let's go did to a screen a share. Uh, now, notice what happens when I screen uh, like share. PDF Everything files. freezes. So when I have a you can PDF see what's going on, on. isn't that? Uh, yeah, that's because I'm on a Mac. If you're on like uh, find, uh, a PC and you're using the desktop, in the, there's in no the paragraph, problem with it. And they use the highlight so, yeah, it's kind of lonely when you wait around. You probably see this. Can you? Oh, you can hear me. I thought it was just frozen, but you can hear me. That's that's good to know. Oh, great! I always thought that. Oh, okay, that's good to know. I always thought yeah, there, that yeah. uh, you couldn't see me, and I just kind of freeze up there. Okay, so I've got everything going. Uh, let's go into the mind map. All right, so um, Nevis, can you tell me if you can see the mind map? Not yet. Everything's white. Can oh, it's white. Okay, so it should. Great. Okay, so let me, um, there we are. Okay, so, all right. So I'm moving the screen a bit. All right, so where do we start? Oh, I see Percy's here. Hi, Percy. And you're from Peru. Ah, oh, that's an idea. Introduce ourselves. I go straight into settings. Notice here, keep aligned, center map, plus. 
So um, how do we? Oh, there we go. Come on, Melissa. Well, come, come on. Come on That's board. Cute. Okay. So what's um, what do we do here? Browse icon. Hmm. So what are we doing? Plus, we go to the plus on top, and uh, Nelly just added. It, it's fun. The plus doesn't hit. The plus from the top. Okay, if you look at the top there, okay, the plus, and that's where you can add an idea tab. Okay, and then. Um, you can add, you see that's how it goes, Oops. you can add and link it with something else, whoops, okay, and then, oh, it keeps going, no. wait, let's cut it, okay, and then you get another idea, and then you add the idea to this, whoops, doing it now can we work on this together it's got really great icons here uh, external you can add an external link cannot connect to a topic to itself can you still see oh hi Tom from Venezuela <laughs> great okay Maybe I should just hello we can from. Yes, yes, we can hear. And I like to change colors. Let's see what I can do here. There's a heart. Hello from Toronto heart. And then we can add. I think it was Percy that you added videos. Not Somebody yet. added a video right. from Portugal. Oh, here it is. So we can maybe add a video. Yeah. Um, see right. Toronto video. The only thing with this is that it's silent. Let's see. Advanced. Oh, look, if you go to advanced, you can get all kinds of links. Show popular links from Toronto. Hello, darling. I wonder what that is. I mean, you have to be careful, right? You don't know what you're getting here. Hello from Toronto. Hmm. Hello from Toronto. All right. Let's see what that. It's a blog. Hello from Toronto. Oh, what happened to it? Hmm. Let's see if I can get that advanced. Hello, Toronto City Guide. Okay, that looks more like it. Okay, and if you click on the arrow, you get to Hello Toronto. This could be dangerous for students because they may get some really bad websites. Right? They may play around with this. I like how you wrote your name, Thomas. That's very nice. Can we get some other people's voices here? Let's see. Anybody else want to add their voice? Cheryl, how about adding your voice? Haven't heard you in a long time. There, I hear you. I say. Can you hear me? Yes. How are you? It's so nice to see you. Um, yes. All right. We can hear you really well. I hope you can hear us. Can you hear me, Cheryl? You can't hear me. 
very good to hear everybody, yes. You're loud and clear. Yes, I don't I don't have my headphones, so I couldn't find them this morning. I don't know if it makes a difference. Okay. You know, I don't know if is it echoing? It's not echoing. Glad to be here. This is really Might be if I got my volume too loud. Um. Yeah, it is a bit loud. I'll turn it down. Yeah, maybe in in the Wiz IQ class. I mean, in the in the set. Yeah. So how are you finding? Uh, oh, Percy, that's cute. Look what he did. Percy, you're very creative. Did you add something, Cheryl? Percy doesn't agree with me. No, I, I'm trying to get up. I uh, missed this part. <laughs> okay, let me add the link to uh, the class. There, There's the link. Let me add it again. I think you just um, click on it, and you should be there. There, do you see it in the chat? I'm just looking to see if it's the same one. Uh -huh. Got it? I don't think you need yeah, to, yeah. Anybody else want voice too? You can all, uh, Nevis, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here, sorry. I was just Tell me, is it? Into the mind map. I finally made it. Oh, you fi Tell me, is it difficult to work and speak at the same time? Are you finding it difficult? No, not for me, normally. <laughs> normally. All right, let's get back on the mind map. Oh, there, I see you wrote, the weather here is sunny, going to rainy. I had a hard time getting in actually onto the mind map. So I didn't realize I had to um, actually then from scratch. What do you mean? So it was... I actually had to set up a, an account. Okay, that's what I have. Oh, really? So Tom was right. Tom? Oh, with Tom can't. Is, uh, but there's no chat here, isn't there? There should be a chat here, but there's no chat. Usually Google Drive things have chats, but this doesn't seem to have it, which is uh, difficult. Not having a chat. You can see everyone who's on at the bottom. Of the screen, can you hear me? I can see that um, Percy's there, Melissa, and Nevis. I don't, I don't see anybody else here, and I don't. And let's see, Tom. I'm Thomas, and then there's an anonymous one eight two three zero. So I'm not sure whether you need oh. to get an account. Yes. I think if you get an account, your name will appear. But if you it's don't, very good. like yes. anonymous one eight two three zero, and Melissa's here too. Yes, I don't. Then I, don't I don't have my headphones, so I couldn't find them this morning. <laughs> Okay, good. Maybe I'm wrong. Glad to be here. This is really okay. It might be if Are I got in? my volume too loud. I'll turn it down. What's nice is that you can actually is print that whatever you do, and you can download it. The only thing missing here is the chat. I need a chat. Uh, and I think my students would too. Oh, there's Melissa. Oh, you did need a No, I, I'm oh. trying to get over here. I missed this part. <laughs> I can't believe there's no chat unless I'm missing something. I'm sure they'll have a chat very soon. They don't have it yet. Uh -huh. Pardon? Okay, I see. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I was just was having a hard time getting into the mind maps. I finally made it. Look, you can also have assignments. You can ha assign this by a certain date. Do you see the no, uh, the arrow, me, which is nice for students? Due date uh, to finish up the mind map. So you can have uh, students working in um, in teams, and then on a project, 
and then um, having two, I had a hard can, time uh, getting in actually onto the mind maps. I didn't realize so it's kind of cute. To, um, actually, who said that they don't like scratch. mind maps? There was somebody in the class so, that said they did. I'm going to stop um, screen sharing. Uh, a, Allison, an account. I think oh, Allison okay, that's what I am. Was it you, Allison, that mentioned that you don't yeah. like? Uh, uh -huh. You're not too happy with Tom mind maps. Not... So where do you open a box to chat, hey, Tom? I'm back in class. I don't see the chat. Um, I think Tom is just showing it's me now. Strange. Oh, he is. Where on the mind map. on the mind map? Where is it? Oh, you mean chatting on? Yeah, that's true. You could chat there, but no, I meant like a separate chat box somewhere else. Pardon? No, you could just chat. You could have it like a, maybe a chat area, create a chat area. Can somebody do that? Create maybe a chat area and um, chat there. And who is Anonymous18082? Oh, I'm trying. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can chat there. Ding. See if that works. Yeah. Uh, Not everybody's here, though. There are a lot of uh, images, yes. which is kind of cute. Great idea. It was Alison apparently saying she can't use a mind map. Not for her brain. I totally understand. Why? Well, sometimes um, something that's new for the first time, we always have this thing that it becomes fear of the unknown. And fear of the unknown does tend to want to make us um, afraid of trying something new. And my uh, map is just I think an extension. I'm saying open a box and chat in it. Why not? Like Tom said, open a box and chat in it. I suppose it would be the same anyway. Go back to the theory behind flowcharts. And my map similar to that. The good thing about my map today is that it's an a, a moving and evolving thing. So it means everyone can move it around, mm -hmm. change, and always make it better. Or work, whatever the it's a lot of work it's a lot of work this is a whiz who wrote that somebody erased our board all right so um let's go back i'm going to uh take away unless somebody wants to talk i'm going to take away your um there let me take away your tools there take actions take back um, um i think thomas is showing controls. you now on the screen yeah on the mind map okay there i took back uh the writing controls so nobody um, has writing controls anymore so i'm going to put back the um It doesn't seem to have one. It doesn't seem to have one. The back arrows get rid of everything as well. Which is easy enough. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Where were we? All right, so that's the mind map. If you want to create one. Has anybody tried to create one yet while we were talking? No. no? Okay, the way you create it is, okay, that's the simple mind map. The way you do it is you simply go to, uh, let me um, screen here? share and show you. It's quite easy. There, I'm screen sharing for the second time, so it should be fine. Ah. Uh, what you do is you go into your Google Drive. Ah. Okay. okay, my drive. Okay, you go into your Google Drive. <laughs> You go yeah, into create, apparently saying she can't you click on it, and then 
you keep totally going understand. until you get see this arrow here you keep going well, until you get to um, mind map okay there it is you click on the mind map for the first time we always have this thing and that's it that it becomes fear of the unknown okay, and then you get and fear of the unknown what you get is a uh, um Okay, you get a number here for each and mind, map. mind map, and then you start. An extension of, um, so it's quite easy, and um, I'm sure kids would love it. Like I'm not so sure about adult learners, but I know that kids do years. like it because of the icons the and the different colors and, and shapes and things. Similar to that. The good thing about, about mind maps Oh, that's today interesting. That Kirsten says that you like to do them in face-to-face -face classes, but never did them online. So it means everyone's Can you, do you have um, audio maybe? Change. Do you have a and microphone? Make it better. Sorry, not audio. Or microphone, Kirsten, so we can maybe hear you. That's interesting. I've never done them face-to-face. -face. Only mm -hmm. online. Okay. Can I give you? You do. That's interesting. Hello, Guadalupe. You just missed the mind map. Uh, but I think the link is still here. I think that's the link if you want to go in and try the uh, mind map. For teaching writing. Melissa, can, you, can I give you the mic, please, so we can hear you and you can explain what you mean? All right, great. All right, I'm giving you, I didn't ask, but I'm also giving you the webcam. I'm not sure if you gave me permission for that. Okay, so just, um, Chris, if someone try wants out. to go, if we're someone not, wants we're very to take, few here. Rather there than it sit is. there and rub everything out, and, um, the um, back arrow gets rid of everything as well. Yes, we hear you. Who's that? Yeah. You sound great. I can't hear anything, but... Um, but we hear you. We hear you. No. Yes, we hear you. Is that Melissa? No, it's not Melissa. It must be Kirsten, right? Because Melissa... Right. You sound great. You've got a great microphone there. Um, I just wanted to add that um, I have only um, experience with mind maps in, online, in, in um, normal face-to-face -face classes. And um, I wonder if um, doing them online um, with adult students, of course, um, can be as effective as in how have you used it face to face? I mean, how does it work in, in, in a face to face class? Um, well, there is a board, a chalkboard, or um, we use papers, and then um, people get different colors of pens, and then they write down what kind of brainstorming to a topic, and then we discuss it afterwards. On paper? Wow. I think that was the normal way to do it, um, and I'm really um, excited about doing it online because you can save it more to other students. Well, you can actually, if, if it's on paper, you can, you know, get a an image. You can use your smartphone or iPad, whatever, and you can um, get a photo and use it like that. I'm just wondering you know, about using a pen versus using online. I'm also, when it comes to drawing, I prefer to use, and I like drawing and doodling, I prefer to use a pen or pencil. So I'm finding uh, online mind maps very, very strange for that reason, because it's strange for me to let, um, you know, a program do it for me. I need to, when it comes to drawing, I need to do it with my hands and not with, you know, mouse or... Well, sometimes I think it's um, quicker on paper, um, but, well, um, for a uh, homework, mind map online would be quite interesting to do. Mm -hmm. 
But I, I think what Neva says that it takes time. I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy. Let's see. Uh -huh. uh, Tom shared a mind map that he created. And I see you're there, Tom. But it's not coming out for some reason. No. It's not, um, Tom, it's not coming out. It it's a P, oh, it's a PDF. I can't and hear I anything, need to but, um, accept, accept it. Or not. Okay, it let's see. It's converting. Can you hear me or not? <laughs> it's with Lumen PDF okay. Viewer. This is amazing. This is all Google, um, I presume. Yes, I'm casting. Is that correct, Tom? The Metcom. Oh, I've seen this before. Where, where did I see this Metcom two? Um, Looks familiar. I just wanted to add that it's still um, not coming out I for have some reason. I um, experience with my maps um, in online in, in um, normal. It page says page PDF, and, but um, I can't. Can anybody see anything? If, um, doing them online. I only see a um, white with adult um, students, of course, um, blank page, even though there is an address. As in Paste, it's paste open as no pdf.com files 26 and it says metcom to pdf but there's nothing here um well there's Tom, is there a reason a for that or um we use papers and then um, people get different colors you of can pen, download and the file or convert pdf in kind of brainstorming to a topic and then we discuss it afterwards I wonder why it's not opening. I think that was the normal way to do it, um, and I'm really um, okay, let's ask Tom. excited um, about doing it online. We can use the comment because box. Because you can save it. Now we're on Google Drive. Students. Oh, I have no permission for the comments. I can't add comments. I just downloaded it and I'm trying to open it to see what happens. Oh, did you? Oh, you mean download it? You think it might open? And then you can screen share maybe. Because the Lumen, maybe because I'm on a Mac, I don't know why it's not opening. Well, I'm on a PC and it's not opening. It's not opening? And it's not even opening on the Adobe. It's blank. Yeah. I wonder why. Well, sometimes so, Tom, I can you um, on paper, no should um, open with Adobe? But, well, um, for a uh, homework, <laughs> mind map. There's Allison. Quite Life is uncertainty. Why would technology be any different? <laughs> it's all a mystery. Thank uh -huh. you, Tom. I'm downloading, but it's still not there. No. Maybe you need to. Maybe you haven't shared it publicly, Tom. Yeah. Guadalupe, do you want to speak? Do you want me to give you, Melissa, I wasn't able to give you the mic for some reason. It didn't work. But anyone else, it'd be great to hear your voices. It's so much, I think it's wonderful to have a voice. Um, Guadalupe, I haven't heard you in a long time. Oh. And Allison. And there, I've given... Percy, I want to hear people. All right, I've given everybody just about. Tom, I understand that you've got a problem with your mic. Sounds like water. Water is, water is dripping. Hello. Hello. Hello is that Melissa? Or is that Faria? Uh, I don't know whether you are hearing me. Yeah, we hear you. It's yes. Fari. I know your voice, so I know it's you, uh, Fari. We hear you. So I guess, Melissa, you're with the water. Yes, it's also the fish is near on me. That's why it's not it's hearing. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, I see. Um, Melissa, I believe you should be able to speak now. Tom, I'm waiting for the... Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, good. Well, uh, I was just going to say that I, I too, use uh, these mind maps when 
I'm working with students to give them sort of a, a template to work through, especially older uh, adult students who are not used to writing, um, sometimes thinking through things in terms of pictures or, you know, maps like you would say, really, really does help them. Um, other students, it doesn't help at all. Um, and like Ali was saying, you know, if you're I just downloaded it and I'm trying to open it and see what happens. Strong in a particular area, but can provide your students with an opportunity to do that. I'm having lots of things you can do. That's a oh, good point a about letting them do it because so it doesn't have to be your cup of tea. The, the only thing is that Adobe. do you do it face to face? Do you do both online and face to face, or how do you students work? Thanks, Tom. I'm downloading, but it's still not there. I have to do it in my own way as well. And when I tend to do it on the board for my students, I know I'm doing it my way. And sometimes they're not following. So, um, yeah, it, um, it, there's all kinds of uh, positives and negatives to um, you know, different strategies. So I guess we have to make the best of what we can and go with it. Right. We're going to have a presentation. There's a person called Adam from Australia who teaches doodling and he uses it as a coaching technique. Uh, it seems let's see if I can find him here. Adam uh, Sisinski. Amazing work. Um, let me get, yeah, amazing. He presented at uh, one of the conferences, I'm, I forget which one. Uh, there's his name, and I think that's one of his websites. From mindfulness, it's a way to focus. And Hello? if you, it's like letters, putting to, taking letters and putting together words and then sentences. Uh, I, okay, well, you I don't know whether you are hearing me. I'm going to give a workshop. I'll make sure that everybody hears about it online on WizIQ. And then you take, what he does, he takes... Um, you know, yes, and there's also lying. the fish is near on me, that's why it's not clear, it's hearing. Yeah, he's hearing the water because he's not hearing the water. How do you uh, create um, kind of like cartoon-like doodling? So, um, yeah. Yes. But it's you... online. No, it's not online, it's face-to-face. -face. Oh, good. Well, Actually, uh, I mean, you do it on paper. I was just going to say that I, I too, use uh, these mind maps when I'm working with students. And I think there's them, a lot of value uh, in doing sort of things a, on paper. Even if you're work, you're talking you about it online, you could uh, be describing it and explaining it. But actually, you know, getting paper and then trying things out on paper. You know, maps, like we would say, really, really does help them. Um, other students, it doesn't help at all. Um, and like Ali was Tom, saying, I'm going to you know, give you uh, writing tools so you can share. If you go to this, um, I think you're able to screen share. No, I'm not sure. Than, uh, let me know in the chat box if you're able to screen area, share, and then you can screen share um, an the PDF that we can and see. Let them run with it. You don't have to do it yourself. So maybe that you way know, it'll lots work. Lots of things we can do. Tom, can you let me know if? Um, Writing tools allows you to uh, screen share. It might not. Let me see if I can. No, I, I do mine face just, to face. Uh, um, writing tools. Yeah, face to audio. face, and and it gives everyone a chance um, to actually work together in the class. Now, maybe if I give you, know, you like video, a, like or, it was suggested. Uh, doing it audio for homework. I think or not. Okay, so Tom, I'm going to give you, uh, and I right, that's what I thought. I'm going to give you uh, if, um, video you know, doodling, and I audio, do and, and I think that well. should do it. And you should be I able to screen to share with that students, if I give you I um, full rights. And sometimes they're not following. Okay, that so, work. Um, yeah, it, um, there, there's all kinds of do you, uh, positive Do you have the rights now, Tom? You know, different strategies. So, I guess we have to make the best of what we can and, and go with it. Still, you don't have it? But you've got full rights. That doesn't make sense. Sorry. 
So does this Adam have his own software? Or how does he come up with these? <laughs> he's yeah he's brilliant Ooh, absolutely maps. yeah um it's not it's actually doodling it's learning to doodle it's learning to draw um from basic lines so it's like abstract drawings you remember when you used to do those art things where you just circle and circle and then you look exactly. at it and see what it'll make Yes, but it works. <laughs> I don't think he developed it. I think uh, somebody else developed yeah. it, if I'm not mistaken, but he's using it. Yeah. These are intricate. But it works. You know, he gave a workshop here at Wiz IQ, and, um, and it works. I mean, he asked us to, you know, take a piece of paper and, um, oh, and draw things. Yeah. It's like it's like an alphabet to drawing. So Tom, do you have rights now? Um I'm not sure whether he has a software or not. But he'll be talking about it and uh, see, but he uses it for mindfulness. He's going to be, oh, I know, he's going to be uh, in September. We're planning um, a healthy and sustainable living MOOC. So mindfulness, mindfulness is going to be part of it. So that's what he's going to. So, okay, Tom, I guess um, you'll have to find some way of sharing it with us. All right, so um, our time is up, actually. This was, um, I found this class very interesting because I, I love the um, the voice communication as opposed to just, um, you know, written chats. So if you could get your um, your mics working, it would be great so that we can um, speak like this. And Tom, I'm, I'm waiting to hear your voice. We all are. We've seen you but we have never heard your voice so hopefully the mystery man will have a voice all right there tom has added <laughs> Everybody's still there yep we're all we're still here uh and i've recorded this without your names of course just the um your voices will be heard but i think it's really nice if you've never uh, spoken in a live online class I think you're gonna fall in love with it because once you start hearing your voice there, there's a lot of power especially if you're a teacher so does this and, Adam uh, have his the, own uh, software or how does he come the, up with uh, these they're very intricate of, uh, speaking through a microphone Those mind maps so this this was uh, your opportunity so I'm hoping to hear other people's voices next time and I'd like to thank you yes um so it's like for joining the session we'll see you tomorrow at the moodle mooc so tomorrow is really you remember about, when you used to do those uh, art things where you just circle and circle and then you look at it and, and see then, what it'll uh, make the day after is that, that kind of what he's doing or his presentation with zaid from uh, malaysia yeah and zaid is also interested in um really healthy living so i think you'll find it quite interesting these are think. intricate so tomorrow is moodle right. resources and we can continue the sessions here on learning to blend and flip with technology. So thank you, everyone. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yes. Ciao. Ciao from Italia. <laughs> Bye, Cheryl. It's good to see you again. Bye. Tomorrow. Yeah. What did I do with